Howdy, Bump in the Night. I'm Kyle Broderick, and you're in the home of the Social Regressive. We're going to take a look today at a Secure It Safe. It's a small safe that I think is useful for a good handful of applications. We're going to take a quick look at the first one, which is going to be if there is that bump in the night. A lot of us are going to reach for a pistol like this and a small safe next to us, but there are also plenty of us that prefer a little bit of a bigger option like this uh, Mossberg 835 right here, or maybe an AR or some other kind of long gun. In those cases, you've probably seen some of these devices that just kind of hang off the side of your bed, and that's really not an option if you have children like I do, or if uh, just maybe other people might be around in the house, you want something that's a little bit more secure. The fast box is going to be a really quick way to access a long gun, and let me show you down here. The Secure It Fastbox comes in two models. There's the Fastbox 40, and then this one, the 47. And that just has to do with how long it is. You can see that the AR-15 carbine fit in there very neatly, even with all this stuff attached. Full scope, 30 round PMAG, and then a 10 inch suppressor here on the end. It all fit in there very nicely. The total dimensions on both of these, your depth is going to be 13 inches, your height is going to be six and a half inches, and then whether you have the 40 or 47, that's going to be your total uh, length here. Now those are going to be the external dimensions, so the interior ones are going to be a little bit different. Knock off about an inch and a half for the door, so uh, you know, hovering a little bit less than 12 inches for the inside and then whatever thickness you have for the metal. It's not gonna to take too much off there. You can see that my Mossberg 835, which is a turkey shotgun, not your average home defense shotgun with a shorter barrel, did not fit in here. This has a, a huge 26 incher on here. Uh, so what, whatever gun you think you might want to conceal under your bed or whatever, just uh, measure it and make sure that it fits. And as you can see, as far as depth goes, uh, you can probably get quite a bit of space in there. Let's take a quick look at some of the features and some of the goodies that come with this. One of the things that's gonna help protect your gun, the box does come with this rubber mat that's right down here. That'll keep your gun from getting scuffed up too badly. And then it does include keys for getting in. That's gonna help you get in for the first time uh, since this won't actually have a battery in it. It just takes a nine volt, you pop it in and then you can use the electronic lock. Some other goodies that come with it, these right here, I'm, I'm really glad that they included these. Uh, these are actually little brackets for attaching the box to the underside of your bed. So based on what kind of height you have, as long as you have a minimum of six and a half inches of height, then this is going to uh, fit really neatly. Um, so what you do is you have this little bracket right here that attaches to the frame underside the bed. You get one of these for each side. And then you kind of balance out the back side of the safe by screwing in these two little feet. In my case, I just have a standard metal bed frame, the kind that you're gonna buy anywhere. Um, so it just fits really neatly underneath. I don't even need these feet. All I need are the brackets. The little red knob that you see right here, this is for resetting your code. If you wanna be able to enter a new personal code here on the front you just press this button and then you enter your new one and that will record it all right check this out since we're talking about confined spaces if you have six inches of height 13 inches of depth and 40 or 47 inches of width this can make a pretty cool little truck safe the holes that are drilled on the outside here that we talked about being used to kind of attach this to the mattress there's another set on the underside and if you want to go ahead and drill up through the floorboards of your truck, run in some carriage bolts, get some nuts on the inside of this, I think this would be a really secure little safe and pretty easy to access. And you can see in here, I have my 16 inch carbine with the magazine actually installed and holding it in place is actually these little uh, fast nylon buckles right here. I've got one at the back I took this one off the front so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. This is an optional piece that you can order. Uh, so it's just, you know, some nylon buckles, looks like one and a quarter inch webbing and some, uh, some ladder locks to attach it on the inside. And then underneath the rifle, which is a suppressed 16 inch carbine with a scope and the magazine still in it. This is a 30 rounder PMAG. 
Uh, underneath to protect the finish, there is that rubber mat. And then with the buckles holding it down, uh, it's gonna keep the rifle from jostling around. It's gonna protect the finish. And I think this would be a really neat way to carry a rifle safely. So now we get to the third major use for the fast box as a vertical safe. You can see just by looking at it that this is going to fit in all kinds of space confined places. If you live in an apartment and you just don't have much space, this is easily going to fit into a closet. Even if it can't fit under your bed, maybe it can fit next to the bed. And one of the neat things about this is that, okay, yes, this is a pretty small safe. It's pretty lightweight. And if you wanted to, you know, someone could just pick it up and take it out of the house. But if you do want to affix this to something that's a little bit more sturdy than itself, to make it a little bit harder to, uh, say, burgle out of your house, this does have holes drilled at every corner. You can run a bolt through and attach it to a wall, attach it to the studs, attach it to some kind of structural member, attach it to your bed frame, anything that's gonna make it a bit more difficult to move around. Also, as far as security goes, this steel seems to be uh, very tough and very thick. This seems to be thicker than the average little locker that you're gonna be getting at your big box store or whatever. This feels like I could jump up, on, up and down on top of it all day and it would do just fine. Now, one conspicuous absence in here, this does not have any kind of fireproofing material inside the walls or anything. So if you do have a fire, it's your choice. You can take the safe with you since it is pretty easy to carry you can take the contents out with you. And if you do that, just go ahead and put some meat inside here because it should cook very nicely. There are a lot of these metal foot lockers on the market that are gonna have some kind of secure access, whether it's keyed or electronic. But one of the things that I haven't really seen before is one that's really specifically designed to work in these three scenarios. So under the bed, it comes with that special attachment bracket for putting it into a truck. It's set up very well for that. And then this is specifically designed to work as a vertical safe if you want it to. And I'll show you how that works. This isn't just a box that you lean things up against. This is actually designed to be a vertical safe. At the back, you get a series of tabs that you can slot accessories into like this one. You might recognize this kind of shape from other safes you might have had. This is just a barrel cradle for your shotguns or your rifles. And then it's going to have <clears throat> this little bungee cord attached to the top. Put this over your barrel to help hold things a bit more securely in place, especially since this can, you know, maybe wob wobble around a little bit depending on how you have it set up. The vertical kit that you can purchase extra on top of this safe is going to have two of these. I've got one in there right now holding my AR-15, and then there's kind of a shoe down at the bottom to hold two butt stocks down there. Some of the other items that you can buy are going to be uh, like these little bins right here. These are kind of like the ones that you keep your tools and uh, screws and things out in the garage. And up here, I've got one attached. I've got a mag and a silencer in there. Not all of these will fit, so uh, watch out if you go to buy. Some of these are going to be a bit too big. This won't actually make it through the door. Uh, make sure you get some of the smaller ones, and they're going to fit really neatly inside here. And make sure you check out the whole Secure It lineup. Go to their site because they have some really neat things. All of these parts are interchangeable with each other, and you can put these into the, either the small safes or the big ones or whatever, and they actually sell those panels they call them the tactical walls that you can do a whole room in. So you might have seen some movies or whatever where somebody has taken a room and they've tricked it out to be basically one big gun safe with guns hanging everywhere. Well, yeah, these guys sell that stuff and they have all the little brackets for hanging it. Uh, they, they make some really, really neat things. So yeah, take a look at the Fastbox 40 and 47 on Amazon. These are available pretty much universally. So, you know, if you do have difficulty getting them in your area, uh, you know, sporting goods or other safes or things like that. Maybe you're just in an area that isn't very gun friendly. This is a great way to get it delivered straight to your door. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.